and it's time for another edition of BS or Real Talk. Oh, it's my favorite. We'll respond using our emoji signs. We got them here in tow. First up, Trailblazers got past the Nuggets in seven games, and Damian Lillard thinks the Warriors might be a better matchup for his team. Here's Dame talking about the different matchups yesterday. Let's take a listen. I think we match up pretty well with them. I think our, our last series they had guys like Paul Millsap and, and Jokic. You know, they were huge bodies in the paint. They gave us a lot of trouble on the glass. They gave us a lot of trouble with their size. And I think with Golden State, it's much more of a, a perimeter-oriented team. You know, we know they're going to do a lot of screening and cutting and uh, shooting a lot of threes and stuff like that. Um, not really throwing the ball on the block and stuff like that. So I think it's a much better matchup for for us as far as personnel. So Dame says the uh, Warriors are a better personnel matchup than the Nuggets. BS or real talk? Cards up. Yeah, we're all, no, Whoa, wait, wait, wait. Momo. Wait, you're going to 100? I'm going 100. 100 too. Whoa, why? 100%. That is the belief of, a, of Damian Lillard right there. That's what that I was going to say. That is his belief. That's but what that's not reality. No, that's reality. suspended reality. Is he, no, that's is he his lying? reality. No. His reality that's his is reality. that. That is his reality, and I respect that. They're in the Western yep. Conference Finals after getting killed last year in the first that's round. Right. He worked every single day and had that focus, right? Hey, and we remember, CJ, I'm trying, Jennifer. I'm with you, right? So, <laughs> so look, my thing is this. If that's your belief yep. and you believe that, 100%. And look, you want to know why they're a better matchup? Yeah. Because they're playing them. Okay. And Denver is at home. That's you know right. what this is? This is Inception, basically. Oh, that movie with Leonardo DiCaprio where it makes yep. you believe something. You've yep. planted something into yep. someone's brain. Plant. And look, Damian Lillard has been amazing, to your point. Like, there's no doubt, so man. So is CJ. And, and CJ. CJ no, did. they've been fantastic. But if, look, if Kevin Durant on the Warriors never existed, the Warriors would still be the favorite to win the championship and clearly still be the favorite to win this series. That's Listen, fine. Damien, the, the question is, do I believe what he is saying? Do I do I agree with him? What he's saying is different. Okay. Okay. I don't agree. I don't. Well, think I agree that he believes it. Sure. I agree that he believes that. Right. And that's but it's his still. I, in I think. Himself yeah. Going into this fight. And the reason why it's true is because they are playing them and not the Denver Nuggets. So they're a better team than the Denver Nuggets, and the better team has a better chance of winning. Poop emoji. All right. Ben Simmons <laughs> had 116 <laughs> shot attempts this postseason. Of those 116, only three were jump shots all which he missed according to Second Spectrum. Here's what Simmons said yesterday about the need to develop his shot. Take a listen. Ben, uh, you said you wanted to take your game forward. How much do you think taking more jump shots or even taking shots uh, from the perimeter is important to improving your game? Um, it's important. It's very important. How are you going to work on it? Repetition. Okay. Has that happened this year? And it doesn't. You took five shots last night. Don't. Do you think in this situation with this team and who you are, you need more than five shots, and some of them have to be from the perimeter? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I Awkward. Love it. That reporter was grilling him. Is Ben Simmons saying it's important to him to develop his shot? BS or real talk? Cards up. Okay, we all agree, 100. Yeah, of course. Yeah. It's got to be important. He knows well, it's well, important. Look, look, he believes it. Is that what you want to talk about? Is that what you want to talk about? No, I, go, go ahead. Uh, look, I, I mean, I'm listening to that reporter grilling him. That that's a good job, by that the way. That was, I mean, yeah. it was That's like, reporting 101 right there. Yeah, I mean, Ben, you know, that, that's how you not say next question, right? Like, Russell Westbrook would have been like, next question. Yeah, next question. good, fight, good okay. for Ben, but absolutely. That's how you answer that question. Yes. Like, he's... Obviously, it's important. He knows it's important. The question is, is he going to work on it enough? And is it actually, are we actually going to see a difference? And I think free throw percentage, right? I think okay. he needs to become a better free throw. Per, like, and I yeah. think that is under a control versus three-point shots. And like, You might never have that part of your game, but if you can improve your free throw okay. percentage, to me, then he can post up more. Then he can post up more. If he gets fouled, he goes and he can mm -hmm. knock down eight, eight out of 11, right? He can knock down seven out of 10. If he can do that, then he can go into the post against smaller guys. And then the, I, I think that's step one. The jump shot thing should be step two. So how comfortable does he need to be? One thing is to do it in practice, right? Yep. How comfortable does he need to be to be able to do that in a game, which at some point is going to be very necessary? It's, it's like LeBron, right? Early in his career yep. where LeBron didn't have a jump shot that people respected. The Spurs exploited that in the finals. Mm -hmm. And LeBron went to work. So all they need to do is respect it. Yeah. yeah. I mean, and it takes years to do that. And, like, you know, I, I, 
you try not to talk about yourself, but I shot more threes my second year than I did my first. Because I was like, screw this. I'm just going to drive with my head down. But then my third year, Larry Drew worked with me every day. And he was like, Richard, you got to shoot. Shoot one a game. Shoot one a game. If you make it, shoot another one. If you don't, that's fine. But every game, you go into the game, shoot one three. Because then that gets your body and your mind into that mindset. But if you never shoot, you never look at the rim, then you'll never have that mindset. But Larry Drew was the first person. And then that year, I shot 35%. And then I got that confidence. And then it changed my game completely. Completely. But a lot of it is just like having that confidence and saying, okay, every, I don't care if I go Oprah 82, right. I'm going to shoot one every game and just get into that mentality of taking these shots. All right, let's move on. Eric Bledsoe will match up with Kyle Lowry very often in the Eastern <laughs> Conference Finals. When asked about the matchup, Bledsoe was very complimentary of his counterpart. Take a listen. Uh, Kyle's just a great, a great point guard. He's a, you know, great player, man. You know, All-star for a reason. You know, uh, you know, probably, you know, I think he probably going to Hall of Fame at some point in his career. So uh, I'm just, you know, grateful to be in this position, you know, to get to go against him. Eric Bledsoe saying Kyle Lowry will probably go to the Hall of Fame. BS or real talk? This is tough because I really like Kyle Lowry, Me but too. yeah, no man. Look. It's not the Hall of Good or Very Good. It's the Hall of Fame. Well, it's been trending towards the Hall of Very Good. But, yes, I, I, <laughs> I'm going to say BS. Not, not that Kyle Lowry isn't a great play. And one of the things that I like about Kyle is that he is no, notoriously he struggles in the postseason. Mm -hmm. But every year his team is – he's been – this is his, you know, second time in the conference finals. Yes, right. it was DeMar and he's played with Kyle. But he does just enough to help his team win, and I think that's the true testament of a good point guard. It sounds like a good endorsement for the Hall of Fame. He does just enough. Just enough. <laughs> no, just I mean, like, enough. I don't think – I think what Eric is – doing is going the other way than he did last year, right? right. When he was Scary Terry. Yeah. yeah, that didn't work out well for him. Yeah, for yeah. either of them. Um, but, I, but I think, you know, Eric's just kind of deciding to be a classy guy. They won. Kill him with kindness, yeah. basically. Yeah, yeah I yeah. like that. I like yeah. that. Uh, Kyle Lowry, by the way, really big, real big time struggles against the Bucks this season, only averaging six points a game on 23% shooting, the worst of any team he's faced this season. So. Wow. And he's got a thumb injury to his non-shooting hand.